welcome to Pancake Word TV once again. This is Loic from PancakeWord.com. Um, thank you very much for watching. This is episode number three uh, out of a series of four. Um, episode number one and two, you learned how to make the mix, authentic crepe mix, and you also learned in episode number two how to mix the domestic mix in those little bottles, okay? Uh, this is a video that's been expected. Uh, people have wrong and wrong and emailed us all the time saying, look, can you show us how to do it? Well, this is it, okay? It's about five or six minutes of your time. Take it easy, okay? We'll take it step by step, okay? Cool. First of all, the utensils, okay? You've got to be familiar with what you're using. Very simple, okay? I'm gonna use a, a 35 centimeter spatula, stainless steel spatula, it's available to, to purchase on the website. This is a bigger, a bigger sister, a 40 centimeter griddle. I recommend the, the short one, it's a touch sturdier. This one is a bit fragile, maybe it might get in your way a bit. That's the first utensil. Second utensil, you've got a greaser there, greaser pad, okay? That's about 22 quid. Uh, you keep it for ad vitam eternum. It, it, it just lasts for ever and ever, okay? Those pads there, they're very, very thick um, felt pads, okay? Same again. You might think, gosh, it's 30 quid on the website, this is quite a lot. Well, the pad that you see here, okay, is probably three years old, okay, simply because I looked after it. And if you look after it, you just simply wash it under hot water, a bit of soapy water, and you exclude all the oil, you sort of extract all the oil uh, that is in it at the end of the day, stick it in the dishwasher, and that's it, okay? And I simply put it back onto the greaser pad. Okay, so there's two utensils. The third one, um, nonetheless the most important this one there a rack okay I call it a rack this is actually a spreader uh, this is a wooden spreader you can buy stainless steel spreaders those do the job like extremely well stainless steel spreaders are probably more for pro professional caterers as well um, here I just have a tupperware full of water hot water preferably so that it will help dissolve all the, all the lumps I've got a little veg oil in a squirty bottle to help me grease the griddle, I'll show you how to do it in a minute. And finally, I've got a jug here full of authentic crepe mix from PancakeWorld.com. Okay, uh, nicely mixed. Well, you know, watch num episode number one, and you know what I'm talking about when I talk about good mix. A first exercise, okay. Our famous spreader. Eh? We want it to be your friend. Okay, you need to be familiar with it. This is your tool. Okay. I'm gonna simply look at myself by griddle them. I want you to show exact to, to look exactly where my hand stands, okay? You see my hand is turned upside down. I want to see your thumb there, you see? Simply because when I'm gonna turn, I want you to keep the handle of the spreader very low, as low as you can, okay? Simply to allow yourself to expand the mix and do a large circle, okay? Um, I want you to keep your eyes just for the matter, for the purpose of this exercise, I want you to keep your eyes on the end of the spreader there. See it? Just there. My fingers turn around as naturally as possible. But I keep the, the handle possibly about two inches away from the, the griddle top, yeah? Don't burn your knuckles, it hurts. Okay, so it's just the first exercise to get, get used to this, uh, this piece of, um, of kit. Second exercise, second check really, should I say, is to actually check on the temperature of your griddles. Here, they're about 230 degrees each, which is about right for this particular mix, okay? We're in interior, in the kitchen, in South Wales. Sunny weather today, unbelievable. Um, so, so this is it, we're not fighting against the wind. If you're playing with gas griddles, yeah, you may find the temperature adjustment a touch harder, but this is the game to play. Here, I'm gonna grease the plate, okay? I'm gonna show you to grease the plate. Grab your squirty oil bottle here, Tiny bit of oil on the griddle, that's about, that's about right, just a drop. And I'm going to do one, two, three, four, five, and round, and a circle. Okay, same here. One, two, three, four, five, and a circle. And that's it. So you're guaranteed the middle is greased, the edges are nicely greased. You can even just do it a little more there if you want. That's it, okay? But you mustn't turn any crepes. On, on your on your griddle if you haven't checked the temperature and if you haven't checked the level of greasiness. Okay? We're now ready to turn, okay? All set up. I'm grabbing the jug in my left hand, I'm grabbing the, the spreader, the rack, in my right hand, okay? I sort of drip it there, I don't want any water in there. 
I'm gonna pour a circle of mix and you're gonna remember the trick I gave you with the, the, the handle and the spreader, very low, okay? Here, I'm putting about the size of a compact disc on the, on the griddle. And I'm gonna simply bring all that, that lovely mix around. You see, I readjusted a little. The handle is very low, absolutely low. Okay, I'm tearing it a bit there. No problem at all, look. You can stick and grab the jug and we can do that. It's no problem at all. Krebs will forgive you for about 40 seconds, no more. Okay, you see what I just did there? It might be an extra trick for you. You just simply clean your, your spreader instantly. The reason being, if you happen to have lumps on there, when it comes to turning the, the, the next crepe, you're not gonna realize you're gonna be in your rush, dealing with other crepes, whatever. You're gonna start turning and it's gonna tear this nice crepe of yours because you'd, you'd have a lump on there, okay? So always finish by cleaning. Now, episode number one, if you remember, we looked at the crepes. That's trademark, again, I repeat it all the time, but this is true. This color, this taste, this consistency is very much ours, okay? We're the only ones to do that. I'm gonna grab my magic tool there, okay? And this is the sound I wanna hear. Okay? You're cooking, okay? This is your friend, you're cooking. You've got clean hands, you're a caterer, okay? The EHOs are always on our backs. Okay, so don't be shy. Grab the spatula two hands if you need to. You still can use your two hands, okay? Right, remember the sound? That's the sort of thing I want to hear, okay? And here, I'm gonna make sure all the crepe is nicely, you know, taken off the surface. But since the mix is very good, it's already quite fat in a way, it's quite oily. Look, quite frankly, I slide the spatula underneath. And here, I'm simply widening it out, should I say, out of the, the, the area, to simply put it back on and unwind it. Okay, I'm gonna start again, wind, put it on the next griddle, and wind. And this is what I want you to do. You've got two griddles here today, simply to turn on one, garnish on the other, always, okay? How long have you got there? I told you a few minutes ago, you've got about 45 seconds. Happy days, you've got enough time to turn the next one. Grease, grease, grease. I didn't, you notice, I'm sure, I didn't grease it again in between, simply because it's shiny enough, temperature's still good. You don't necessarily need to grease it in between each, okay? I've got about 20 seconds left there. Spreader, jug, turn, spreader, loom. First shot, second shot, bring it to the edges. You turn, turn, happy days. We, we're not asking you to do perfection, we're asking you to be happy with what you're doing. Five seconds, spatula, sand, one, fold. Sugar lemon, madam, no problem at all. Look, very simple. You do a bit of a shape there if you want to, if it's a kids or what, you know, discuss with them. Oh, I'd like, I wouldn't like that much sugar. Okay, you know, don't put too much sugar. You talk, talk with your people, yeah? Bit of lemon there. Sort of lemon juice you find in cash and carries. Um, it's absolutely fine, no problem at all. I'm gonna show you how to use the cone then. This is a grab a cone, okay? I'm gonna put one of those um, anti drip cones inside. That's a lemon sugar. You know the lemon might go everywhere, okay? Put it in there. Those little things there, by the way, they can be bought online. There's a website called Thirsty, Thirsty Cups, uh, the color UK, and we're soon, soon gonna be having them on the website as well, okay? Put it in there, it's just a guarantee. I'm using the cone as if it was my hand. Grab a third. Grab the other one and a third again, okay? Use your crepe and use your cone to actually clean your grid griddle in the meantime. Go forward and I'm gonna slide it in. But don't forget to finish it off nicely. You don't want the crepe to fold on people's hands or shirts, okay? And last job, last job, do not forget you always have to clean your griddle a little before the next crepe um, the, the next crepe comes on it, okay? This is very nice. Grab a napkin, surround the cone with a napkin, you give it away and say, thank you very much, madame. Next, please. And that's it, that's a great crepe. Great service, good product. That's it. Okay, so now, a complex one. Guys, ham and cheese, yeah? Everyone likes them. I personally do, look, you can tell. Ham and cheese, okay, do you remember the sound? Quite nice. You know, I'm putting in my hand there simply as a guide, you know, it's a simple guide there. 
and I'm gonna fold the crab down. Okay, it's nice and golden, nice and crispy and soft in the middle. That's what you want. Present it towards you, okay? Like, bit of grated cheese. Okay, and simply you're gonna go all the way to the edges there, all the way to the edge, for the only reason that when you fold it into one of those cones, this is going to be the first mouthful. This, this is going to be the first bite, okay? So you want people to bite into it to say, oh my God, this is the best crepe I've ever had, okay? And they'll come back to you. Nice quality cheese there, and superb ham. Okay, it can be several pieces, it's not, not so much a problem. That's it. This is apple smoked ham, okay? Same again, guys. You cheat on your ingredients, people won't come back. As simple as that. If you pay four quid a kilo for your ham, you've got questions to answer. Here it is. Uh, I personally love them with pepper. I'm sure your customers will too. Don't be shy. Would you like some pepper, madam? Yeah, great, look at that. In the meantime, guys, you've got another crepe turning, you remember? Okay. Quite a lot of pepper there, we all like that. Great, in the middle. Now, I grab the spatula. I grab a cone. This is not gonna drip, it's all dry stuff, okay? Cheese ham's not gonna drip, you don't need a small cone in there. Open it up. Okay, first corner, do you remember? One third. Okay, second corner, the other third. And now I'm gonna simply drive the crepe around to clean this little plate there, okay? Okay, shoulder the front, slide. Slide the crepe in there, finish it off. And remember, you need to clean this plate before you hand the crepe over, simply because another crepe will come onto it, okay? Remember that, guys. You're happy with that? Grab a napkin again, hand it over to the person. Here you go, madam. Thank you very much for coming, okay? And she'll have the best ham and cheese she, she's ever had. Great. This is it for me today, okay? That was episode number three out of four, if I'm correct. Thank you so, so much for watching, guys. Um, we've had lots of emails, lots of phone calls, asking us about tons of questions. Well, this video is to answer those questions. However, if you still have a few queries, go on to the FAQ um, section of the website. We made it super clear whether you're a beginner or a pro, you've got tons of questions answered there. Um, any problem, give us a shout, we're here to help, but at least we covered pretty much everything. Okay, so thank you very much, and I'll see you next time for episode number four out of four, and I'm gonna teach you to make money out of your crap business. Thank you very much for watching.